Hi everyone, welcome to the CD Cave. I'm Jack Burial. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. <clears throat> so this past weekend, uh, yesterday, June 10th, and also this morning, I uh, went out and hit some yard sales. and I did pick up a few things. Actually, I, I, did, I do have one eBay uh, CD that came in. And I have eight CDs that I picked up uh, at yard sales and a thrift store uh, all yesterday, Saturday. Um, and I also have one record, so nine CDs and one record. Um, I did see a lot of vinyl there. A couple of places had lots of vinyl, but uh, they were asking like uh, $30 for used vinyl, which I thought was a bit much for me. Uh, but I did manage to pick one up uh, for $3. Actually, it was my wife that picked it out. So, um, yeah, so if you're new to my channel, um, don't forget to uh, hit subscribe, like, Leave a comment down below. Uh, I've been overwhelmed with all the subscribers and all the comments I've been getting. Uh, so uh, keep doing that. Enjoy reading all the comments and stuff. And um, I really enjoy doing these videos and people watching them and that. Uh, so to get started today, uh, the first one is one I got from eBay this past week. Which I've been a band I've been trying to start collecting for the past little while. Which is uh, Wishbone Ash. CD called Lubination. Which is one of their uh, later CDs, but uh, it's quite good. I was uh, streaming it for uh, for a little while and then decided to pick it up. I, I got a pretty good deal off an eBay seller. Uh, Mountainside is really good. On Your Own is good. Uh, Top of the World, uh, Tales of the Wise, Another Time, A Thousand Years, Comfort Zone, Mystery Man, uh, The Crack of Dawn, which is an instrumental bonus track on this. Yeah, so this is a uh, Great CD. I think it's a little bit underrated, but uh, I really enjoyed listening to that. The next couple are from the same band, uh, ZZ Top, Recycler. Which I'm not sure why I never owned this before, but um, some good ones on here. Uh, Concrete and Steel, Love Thing, uh, Penthouse Eyes, uh, Decision of a uh, Collision is good. Uh, Burger Man, Double Back. Yeah, this is, uh, well, when they're at their peak, this is a pretty good album. The next one is probably their biggest one, uh, Eliminator, which uh, a lot of big hits off this. I do remember seeing a lot of the videos back in the day. Uh, Give Me All Your Lovin', uh, Got Me Under Pressure, Shark Dress Man was a really big hit, uh, Need You Tonight. Uh, Legs was also another big hit. Um, yeah, TV Dinners is also Dirty Dog. Yeah, this is a uh, good 80s uh, ZZ Top there here. The next one I picked up was uh, the Sky Diggers Road Radio. I do like the Sky Diggers. I do listen to them from time to time. Uh, this, this album I really enjoyed listening to. Uh, the Maple Syrup song is kind of cool. Uh, Toss and Turn, uh, Alice Graham, Drive Away, uh, Radio Waves is good. Uh, you Got a Lot of Nerve, I really liked. Uh, long, Long Time. And, uh, just Another Day, the final track. Yeah, I, I, I like the uh, Sky Diggers. That was a good pickup here. Next, not an artist I listen to a lot, but I uh, figured why not start maybe get into his catalog a little bit. He's been around for quite a while. Uh, Bob Dylan, this one called uh, Turn Out of Mine. I know he's, he's got uh, different, he's got like uh, the, the, the rock, the folk, he's got a little bit of the countryside, so um, I, I didn't mind this CD. It's not a, a go-to for me all the time, but uh, I'm glad I, I picked it up and have it in my collection, sorry. Um, Love Sick, Dear to Road Blues, uh, Standing in a Doorway, uh, Million Miles, uh, Cold Irons Bound, uh, I Can't Wait, uh, Highlands. And this is actually produced by uh, Danny, uh, Daniel Lanois, which I was surprised to see that. Uh, this is a 1997. So, yeah, so trying to get into Bob Dylan a little bit more. So, that was a pretty good pickup there. 
Um, next I picked up uh, the Stone Roses. Man, I do like. Uh, do have a few of their CDs. I think I have, besides this one, I think I have four of their CDs. Um, yeah, I want to be adored. I really like. Uh, Waterfall is a good song on here. Uh, Bye Bye Bad Man is also a song uh, that I liked. Elizabeth, my dear. Uh, Made of Stone. This is the one. Fool's Gold, the last song was like 10 minutes long, which is a pretty good song. This is a BMG a version from 1989. But that's a pretty good bag, Miss Stone Roses. Next, picked up Erasure. Which I uh, find they remind me of uh, a little bit of Tears for Fears type thing, but maybe maybe not as as, as uh, heavy. But uh, there's some uh, some good songs on here. I enjoyed it. A lot of respect. Um, Ship of Fools was good. Phantom Bride. Uh, Chains of Love was good. Uh, Imagination I enjoyed. Uh, Way to the World. Uh, yeah, River Deep, Mountain High. I really enjoyed. This from 1988. I know they've been around a long time. I've never really got into them before, but uh, I figured I'd give them a try. And yeah, I really do uh, enjoy this uh, CD. It was a good pickup there. The next one I picked up is uh, John Lennon. So I assume this is probably from uh, a box set. Because on this CD here, it says um, disc four. And this one here is from uh, 1990. And uh, it's got a lot of his hits on here, just like starting over. I'm losing you, beautiful boy, watching the wheels, woman, uh, dear Yoko. Uh, nobody told me borrow time grow old with me there's a few songs on here I wasn't really familiar with which is really why I picked it up but uh, I'll have to check to see if I can find the other three discs that go with this I'm sure it's probably part of a box set but it was a good pickup for two dollars I'm not going to complain there and the next one I picked up was uh, Origins by Imagine Dragons Which I didn't mind the CD. Um, I have a few of their CDs. Some I enjoy more than others. Um, I kind of have to be in the mood to listen to them. But uh, this has got some some good songs on there. That Machine is really good. Uh, Bad Liar, I liked. The song Zero, I liked. Only was pretty good. It's, um, yeah, it, it, I do enjoy listening to them if, when I'm in the mood for listening to them. Uh, I find I got a little bit more poppy in the last few years, but um, still, it's, it's a good pickup for my collection. It's good to have some variety in there, you know. And my last pickup, uh, which is vinyl, which is basically which is my wife that picked it up. Uh, I'm not so sure it's something I would have picked up, but um, yeah, it's a KTEL record by James Lass. And um, the vinyl itself is in pretty good shape. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's called Super Party Pack by James Lass and definitely by KTEL. And uh, it says at the bottom here, Continuous Dancing. Not that I'm much of a dancer, but um, yeah, so like side one, it's got a, well, it's, it's all cover songs, but it has uh, Power to the People by John Lennon. Uh, Proud Mary by Fogarty, um, yeah, Switch Hitch Hicker, um, Thunder and Lightning by John Coltrane, um, Cracklin' Rosie by Neil Diamond, um, yeah, it's got a lot of Aquarius by McDermott Radio, um, Hate Tonight by Fogarty, She's a Lady by Paul Anka, uh, Joy to the World, Green River, Easy Living, uh, Green Sleeves. Uh, Ty Yoder, Ben Run, the Old Oak Tree, uh, American Woman by the Guess Who, uh, Long Cold Woman in a Black Dress. Yeah, so it's got a Rock and Roll Part 2, which is a song I really enjoyed. Uh, I used to play in a jukebox at a Dairy Queen when I was a kid. I used to play that song all the time. But uh, this is definitely different versions of that. Um, yeah, so why not add it to the collection, right? 
my wife still hasn't listened to it yet. I don't, she probably never will. It's just, I think the KTEL kind of thing brought her uh, memories from uh, childhood. But uh, hey, uh, great to have. Uh, it says available at one point for sale, which he has other ones there. He's got the Polka Party, Happy Hammond, uh, Nonstop Dancing. Yeah, so. Yeah, so overall, there we go. Overall, not a bad pickup for this weekend. I got a few CDs and one vinyl. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves.